I'm going to show you how you can set up a search page for Airtable. Before we get started, I want to distinguish between two similar but different extensions that we have. The first is the search page for Airtable. The second is the mini extensions portal. I want to show you which you would use in which case. So in this first case, I've got a vendor's table. My vendor's table has linked records that are linked to the furniture. And what I would want to have is a system in which, for example, my vendor box can go in, log into that system, and be able to see records that are linked to box. In this case, I would want to use the mini extensions portal. Um, in, th in that case, for example, box would log into that portal, and then they'd be able to see this record, this record, this record, etc. The mini extensions portal is set up so that you have a user's table and um, works nicely with users and gives you a lot more functionality, etc. In the second case is I want to have a search page, and the search page is just a way of looking up records in this table. So for example, if I wanted on the search page to have you know, the field name, the field auto number, the field type, then I would want my users to be able to go into that search page, put in some of that information, and bring up records in that table that have that information. So let's go ahead and see the two demos for the search page. We got two different variations, the grid view and the card view. Let's go ahead and test both out, um, starting with the grid view here. You get a search page that you get to customize, and you get to choose which fields show up on the search page. In my case here, we just, we're just going with a single field, the number field, but I'll show you later how you would set up multiple fields and how they would interact together. So I'm going to put in the number five here, and what I expect is to see um, this, field, this uh, record right here. So let's go back here. That record shows up. If there were multiple records uh, with that value, I, could have, I would have seen multiple rows. We've got full support for all of the Airtable field types. The user can expand that record to see all the details of that record. If you want, if you, want you can optionally allow the users to edit records. Um, if, if you enable it, you get to choose which fields show up on this form for editing. Um, this is the mini extensions form. It's very capable. Do check it out to see which features exist in it. And if the user makes a change, it automatically instantly shows up in the grid here. And some of our fields here have inline editing. Check out the uh, demos to see which ones do and which ones don't. And the last thing here is an optional way of adding records. So I can say, for example, Abdul's record here and click Save. And that record gets added to my table. Let me just quickly show you what that looks like here. There you go. So that record got added. Um, and that's pretty much the full demo here for the grid one. Let's check out the cards one now. Cards one shares much of the same functionality for the search page, exactly the same. Um, let's go ahead and do number five again. Really the main difference here is that you're seeing the record as a card rather than as a row in a grid. Um, again, fully optionally, you can add editing. If you do enable it, you can choose which fields show up when the user edits. If the user makes an edit, it instantly uh, reflects that new change in, in the card. Um, you get to choose which fields show up on the card. Optionally, they can add new records. Mostly the same type of stuff. It's just that the record here shows up as a card. So let's go ahead and walk through the setup now. For the setup, I'm going to do the grid version. But if you're on the cards version, just follow exactly the same things I'm doing here. It is the same exact implementation for both if you want to set it up. So let's start with the user API key, follow that blue URL to find yours, and then paste it here. Select your base, and then select your table. Next here is the search page. For the search page, I'm going to choose two fields because I wanted to show you what it looks like to have multiple fields on that search page. I'm going to do name and email. Um, I, for the search type, we'll choose all fields partially match. That's the default one. There are three types here. I will walk through each one in this demo to explain you what the difference between each one. So let's stick with that for now. And then we'll choose which fields we want to have the user be able to see. So I'm just going to grab a couple here. And then if you'd like users to be able to edit and add, enable whichever one you'd like, and then select which fields will show up in the form. I'm going to go ahead and save here and test out that search page. So to start us off, I want to put a, the table next to us here so we can compare the um, values that we're going to put on that search page to the values that exist in Airtable. So let me pick this value right here as the name. And let's pick um, A, at example, as the email. And let's look for those. OK, so we see that one record. That's exactly what we expect. Those two values match. Now, what if I wanted to do something a little bit different? What if I wanted to do only the email? So let's go back and do just that email. Okay, so I put that email. I see all the records that have that email. 
And yeah, so now what if I wanted to see the records that have that email and have the word rug in their name? Let's try that. Put the email here, I do rug. So this is where that search field type comes in. You see that the name of that setting is called all fields partially match. What that means is all fields must have must must be partially in that value for that record to show up. So if I click here, I'll be able to see those two records with the word rug in them and all have to have that email as well. Cool. So now let's try a different setting. Let's try the setting where you can do any field partially matches. Let's do that. Let's save and let's go back to that search page. So if any any field has to partially match, what that means is if I if I search for example for this email, right? And uh, let's see. So I put that email here, and then we also do the word rug. Let's say. So what I expect is to be able to see any record that has the word rug in its name, or has that email. So that's mainly the difference is they both search for parts of that field, and one of them searches for if all of the of the partial searches match versus if any partial search matches. Cool. Now let's try the last setting here. The last setting is if all fields exactly match. The idea of this one is I only want to show the values. So let's let's save here real quick. Um, I only want to show the records when there's an exact match between all the values. So for example, remember how earlier I did a at example and we did the word rug that wouldn't match. So let me show you here. I do the word rug and I would find nothing. The reason I would find nothing is because the word rug is only part of the name fields, but not an exact full match. If I wanted to fully search for the name rug, I would copy the entire name here and then be able to, to find that record. So I'd find that exact full value and then the full exact email. So the combination of the two in full will come together to find that one record. So let's go ahead and search here. Yep, so I can be able to see this.